Good morning and happy Pentecost Sunday. Honestly, it took me 10 minutes to get myself together for this video. Not because I wasn't already ready, but because literally I was going through multiple thoughts, discouraging thoughts in my head, saying to myself, no one's going to see this. I am going to look crazy and I feel dumb. But that was just an attack of, of the enemy. And so I'm gonna say a prayer because I really wanna share what God put on my heart to anyone who needs to hear it. I'm gonna say a prayer because I believe the Holy Spirit is going to empower me to say what I need to say in a short time span and it's going to get to whoever it's going to get to. So, Father God, as I come to your throne of grace, Lord, I just thank you for who you are. You are my refuge and my strength, my rod and my comforter, Lord. Lord, I hide behind you, Father God. Lord, I know that you, in your presence there's fullness of joy, Father God. Lord, I pray that you would just guide me and what to say. Allow your Holy Spirit to speak for me, Lord. I hide behind you, Lord. It's not me I want to them to see father god but i want them to see you lord i pray that this word would encourage someone and that it would sit and penetrate their heart all right so the first day of june god not even the first day of june the last week of may god gave me the theme for this month and the theme for this month that he gave me was just do it june and i for the first not the first time but I wrote down my goals and this time writing them down it was something serious it was personal and I wrote them down and I looked at them and it just seemed kind of like God can I really do this I've tried this before God and I failed do you think I can really do this and God said yes just do it June and so I was like, okay, God. And the first week of this month, I felt so attacked because I began to hear thoughts like you'll never be this. And those thoughts and that you have in your head about your future and your purpose and your mission, it's all, it's all, not, it's not real. God can't do that for you. God won't do that for you. What makes you think you deserve it? You're not qualified. You don't know what you're doing. And I began to digest these thoughts. And so yesterday I was just so frustrated because, you know, when you hear an encouraging word from God, you think to yourself, yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this word. Thank you for giving it to me. But then when you hear a word from God, it doesn't just happen. Like when God gives you a promise or when he puts something in your heart, it doesn't just happen because you have to realize that God's always preparing you. He's always prepping you. And sometimes that comes through lessons, that comes through trials, that comes through tribulations. And so after I received that promise from God, it didn't just happen. I actually experienced more defeating thoughts and I began to feel more purposeless, more lost. And I thought I was losing my mind. I really thought that what I was feeling, I, I started to second guess, am I really hearing from God? And so today I sent up a prayer to God. It was a very vulnerable prayer. I said, Lord, what is it you want me to do? Where am I supposed to be? Am I doing what you want me to do? Do you want me to move? And lately my bishop has been saying, singing this song, I know that God will, he will answer prayers. Um, and God has literally been answering my prayers through his word right away. And so after I gave that prayer, um, I was just looking and usually I'll either get a scripture on my heart or I'll go to the YouVerse app or 
I'll look at a past scripture that I wrote down and God led me to the YouVerse app where I looked at Acts chapter 1 verse 7 through 9 and it says it it is not for you to know times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you. You will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he had said this, he was taking up as they were watching and, oh, excuse me. Um, after he had said this, he was taken as they were watching and a cloud took him out of okay i wrote this down i'm actually not reading from the actual scripture i'm reading based off what i copied and pasted with my handwriting so i can't read it right now but that's not the point the point is is that god is saying to you that you don't have to have all the answers you don't need to know what's next where you're going what the turnout is going to be all you need to know is that wherever god leads you he is going to empower you with the power of the holy spirit to be a witness do you know that the will of god is for us to be witnesses across the world that's the will of God. So if he's empowering us to do that, that means that we're already set. And some might think empowering to be a witness, that's not my calling. If you think about where you are, whether you're a hairdresser, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a personal trainer, whatever you're doing, whether you're a makeup artist or an actor, Whatever you're doing, you're being a witness, believe it or not. Even myself, one day I went up to someone in the gym and I just began to tell them what I noticed about them. And little did I know, I really encouraged them and they walked away and now this person automatically draws near to me and because of that I can witness to them. That's the power of God, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. I say all that to say that if there's something in your heart that has been tormenting you, and I don't mean tormenting you, or I should, let me use a different word. If there's something in your heart that has been constantly provoking you to purpose, just do it. Do not allow the enemy to discourage you no longer. If there's something that you want to get up and do, pray, ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit and do it. Whatever project that is, whatever, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. You know what it is. Just do it and believe that God is empowering you. He has already equipped you. Oh, I'm getting emotional right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God has already equipped you. You can stop being discouraged. Stop thinking you're not qualified. Stop thinking it's too early. Stop thinking you don't have the tools. You have the resources. Trust God. Many times, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna close in a second, but I want to read that last part of the scripture in Acts chapter 1 verse 7 through 9 God literally says that the Holy Spirit um, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth and I said Lord why does that part of the scripture keep ministering to me? Like, God, what are you trying to say? And so I read it again and I asked, like, Holy Spirit. And God revealed to me, 
you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria. So I was thinking like, oh God, where are these? Where are these cities? And what what is the vicinity? Oh God, what, where are they on the map? And when I, when God showed me the map, literally this message was given in Mount Olivet. And that area is near Jerusalem, so close to Jerusalem. And then Samaria and Judea are north and south. Um, I don't know if I said that backwards, but just look at the map. And the whole point is north and south, right? And Jerusalem is right near the place where Jesus sends this message. And then he says to the ends of the earth, and you think into the earth, east and west, right? What I'm saying, what I believe the Holy Spirit is trying to say is that start with the areas close to you. Start with your Jerusalems. Where does God have you now where you can be a witness, where you can use that project that's in your heart? And then God, with the same Holy Spirit that's empowering you now, will spread you to the north and south. So spread you to the east and the west, the ends of the earth. So do it now. Just do it June because we need you. We need the body of Christ to act. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I'm going to post this trusting God that you've empowered me to reach someone. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you for taking away my spirit, my, the spirit of fear, Father God, and giving me the spirit of of love, power, and a sound mind, God. You're so worthy. You're so holy, God. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.